right, so we are going for another flight today. We're at Duke University. We stayed at the Washington Duke Inn last night uh, for the North Carolina Board of Realtors meeting. But since we're here, we're gonna take a little tour of Duke and talk about mortgage rates and mortgage products. So let's go fly. So as we take a fly around part of the Duke campus here, which by the way, for you folks that know of the Duke campus, if you would tell me where, what part of the campus we're flying around here in this uh, courtyard that we're going to be seeing because I don't really know exactly where I am. <laughs> and that would be interesting for people to know. But as we're flying around here, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about home loan products that are available. This information actually came from Fairway Mortgage Hayden Powell, and um, you can certainly reach out to him and look if you're looking for a home loan. He is a great lender that I've worked with. His contact phone number is 704-773-0253, but he actually put together this home loan products matrix that I will put here in the video uh, for you to take a look at. But I wanted to go over basically four different loan products that I see most often being used in our market. And they, they do have some variations, which is the reason that you don't see one product used all the time. So I want to try to walk through some of those variations. And um, certainly, if you're shopping for a mortgage, you need to be educated going into that process and... I would also suggest that you let the lender kind of guide you through that process. But here are some things you would want to try to consider. So these are the conforming loans, FHA, VA, and USDA. Now, I work primarily in some rural areas, Iredell County, Cabarrus County, um, Catawba County, Lincoln County. In the rural areas, we can actually use a USDA product that's meant for rural areas of America. So downtown Mooresville doesn't qualify, downtown Statesville doesn't qualify, but most of the county of Iredell, for example, does qualify for USDA. One of the benefits of a USDA mortgage, it is a zero down payment mortgage. Yes, zero down payment. <laughs> you know, when we, well, for years and years and years and years and years, as long as I've been in the real estate market, 22 years, USDA has been a zero down mortgage. People said that was the reason we had the housing crash is because people were able to put zero down on their mortgage. Well, they were able to put zero down way before the mortgage crash, and they've been able to put zero down ever since the mortgage crash. So that's not actually the reason we had the problem. USDA is a zero down mortgage. It does require a little bit higher credit score than, say, the FHA or VA. It's a 620 credit score, so you have to have a little bit better credit. And it does have a little bit higher private mortgage insurance than some of the other products I'm going to go through with you. That's one of the drawbacks to it is that there is more of an upfront cost to the person doing the loan than some of the other products, the upfront mortgage insurance, but it is a zero down product. Now, VA is probably the best zero down product, but it's only open to veterans. It does have a 580 credit score, so you can actually have a little bit lower credit. It's actually one of the lowest credit ratings that you can use for any of the mortgage products, and it is a zero down mortgage but it is only available to veterans. It also has a pretty high upfront funding fee for mortgage insurance, private mortgage insurance, but again, that's because it's 0% down. The lenders are having to take a little bit more risk, so they're having to buy some insurance to ensure that the loan is gonna go good for them. Next, the product that we probably see the most in the market that I work as FHA. FHA used to be a 3% down payment. That has now gone up to a 3.5% down payment. 
and it is a 580 credit score. So again, it is the lowest as far as the credit scores can go, just like the VA mortgage product is, but it is 3.5% down. And it, again, because it is a fairly low down payment, has a mortgage insurance on it of, well, it's 1.75% upfront fee and then can be about three quarters of a percent for the mortgage insurance. That mortgage insurance is on the loan. Well, I believe now it's on the loan for the life of the loan, but you can take it off by refinancing it once you get to an 80 20 um, debt to uh, a ratio of how much debt is on the home. So go into the lender about that, how you get your mortgage insurance actually taken off. But it does have a mortgage insurance premium on it, but it's not quite as high as the USDA and the VA products are. And that's because it's 3.5% down payment. There's a little bit less risk to the lender that the person's going to walk from the loan because they have some money in the product. And the last one that we see used quite often is a conforming loan or conventional loan. It is 5% down and does require a 620 credit score. But it has the lowest, if any, mortgage insurance. And it's a little bit less strict on the, um, the um, um, inspection process. The appraisers that go out and do the appraisals on a VA FHA loan, you know, they're going to be a little bit more strict on the quality of the um, home itself. No peeling paint, has to have all the fixtures as far as light fixtures, all that sort of stuff. Conforming, conventional, does have a little bit more variability on that and you can um, work with that loan a little bit easier if it's a home that does need some rehabilitation. So again, that is just a, a, a brief overview. There's some other things about maximum seller contributions for each of these loans, like conforming, for example. You know, usually it can have a little bit more seller contribution where VA is the lowest. It can only have a maximum of 4% seller contribution. So all these things are things you're going to want to talk through with your lender, but I hope this will help a little bit in understanding some of the loan products that are out there. If you have any other questions, please give me a call at 704-360-0667. Have a great week.